Hi there, um, Cobra underscore Commander from TFW2005 uh, back here again reviewing uh, another Beast Wars Neo figure C30, I think this is how you pronounce it but I think it's uh, Koharada if I'm wrong I'm sorry but um, I, I was checking on uh, CobraIsland.com I think it is Cobra Island Toys and it's it, it's named differently, I'm just going off the name that they've used in the um, <coughs> excuse me, the IDW comics so um, yeah, I'll, I'll just go with that name uh, again, if it's pronounced wrong, I'm sorry anyway, on to the figure it is uh, I think the second the, it was the first uh, snake um, Beast Wars figure ever made and the only other snake character was from Beast Machines I think, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, this one is very nice. I'm having to hold it here because his tail doesn't support him too well. But um, if you can see, it's a very nice cobra shape. Uh, if you can see in there, he's got a, his gun just poking out of his mouth. So the feature is, because uh, it's a water gun, I'm not very fond of it, but you press down on that and it's supposed to squirt a little bit of water out of his mouth there. And he's got some nice kind of um, paint on the back, probably to suggest he's venomous or something. And this really, really long tail. Um, Beast Mode is very nice. It's got this huge tail, which makes him, I wouldn't say hard to pose, but it, it can help balance him. And it, it it's alright, it's not great, but it, it's it's good for the character, I think. Um, the detail all over his face is excellent and uh, the texturing they've used for the entire snake form is very good. I'm very pleased with this figure. What I didn't say yesterday for the long rock r review just going off point was um, how much I spent on him. Uh, for some reason the Beast Wars Neo line is... It's it's quite cheap for its age. Um, long rock I got for about £10 I think, somewhere on eBay. And uh, Koharada I got for about 6 and for £6, this is a really good figure. Um, I'll show you what he's like in robot mode in a bit, and if you just bear with me. Right, and we're back, and this is the figure, Ko Harada. Uh, still very snake-like, and you'll notice, which is quite strange, um, but he's missing an arm, which they've used there for his tail, which makes sense, because I've no idea where else he'd be able to shove this tail in a robot mode. It's quite nice, it it, um, it dangles around I suppose you could say, I, I don't feel comfortable saying that, but it, it's got a nice little spike bit on the end which I assume he, he's supposed to use for some kind of melee attack. What I didn't show you yesterday with long rack was that all of these um, Neo figures, I hope you can see that, have this little symbol. Um, for all of the G1 fans you'll know you have that um, heat, heat thing that you rubbed and you got the symbol. Well, for both uh, Maximals and Predacons, you have this little red symbol. Long Rax was in quite a awkward place. I'd need to move his chest to. It's better just to leave it. Um, but yes, this is his squirty gun. I call it a squirty gun because I'm not too fond of it. Because I've, I've never liked these kind of ideas of you get water inside a toy. And, no, I've never liked it. But if you, if you just look at it by itself on his his little pincer arm, it still looks quite good. Uh, bad points about this figure are, again, there's no um, waist articulation, which is a bit of a pain, and I'll, I'll show you this, because I'm not sure how else. You can see that maybe this arm here is on um, an up and down thing, uh, a hinge, sorry, and uh, the ball joint is then quite restricted, because uh, you can't really get it anywhere. If you want to move it out, you need to pull this down and push it up, which makes it quite awkward. I don't, I don't know. I think they did that just to save space and stuff on him. Uh, but anyway, I do like this figure a lot. It is very nice. It'll look very good in any Beast Wars figure collection. And I won't show you, but luckily in uh, the IDW source book, it shows what his... Uh, his battle station mode looks like. Hope you can see that okay. 
and that's one reason why I don't like to show it because I don't think it's that impressive. But yes, Koharada for six pounds, definitely worth buying. Look good in any collection. Uh, he's been reissued as well, I think. He's in the new Takara reissued series, uh, which you can probably find somewhere on eBay. And they came with DVDs and stuff. And he was never remolded. Just thought I should throw that in. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing um, Leo Convoy or Leo Convoy next, I think, because one of my subscribers requested him. So. I'll probably get around to doing that either today or tomorrow. So thanks again and see you later guys.